Florida decided to threaten a black landscaper with an assault weapon for the terrible violation of partially blocking his driveway, allegedly, as the man was working to landscape. Now, I have some more details on this. David Barry, 44, walked down his driveway with a rifle in hand, screaming at Jeremy Lee for blocking his driveway. Lee's daughter, Carrie, began filming the incident, which apparently appeared to further enrage Barry. And so here's what happened next. A prick. I said I'll move. You think I'll play? Yeah. 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 Your daughter better take record of how stupid her father is. Yeah, all right. Keep recording. All right. If it goes online, your yeah. ass will be sued too. Cut that, dude. You ain't got to do that. That, 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 that. Ain't got nothing. That's what I'm saying. I'm telling, I'm telling her to cut this off. I'm telling her to cut this off. You think I ain't got nothing? Well, record. You, you, you record. You pulling a gun on a guy in the middle of, on, on the no, city man. property. Do whatever. I am going to do whatever. Too, this is my property. I'll what do what I want. If I say, do not block somebody's driveway. Get your dumb ass out of here. Yeah, you the dumb mother. Dumb mother shoot you dead. Now, Carrie filming the incident, I think, possibly saved her father's life because since he was on camera, maybe that controlled his actions a little bit. Who knows what he would do if he wasn't on camera. But Lee was cutting the grass of a neighboring property and said that he had already moved his trailer and apologized to Barry for blocking the driveway. But that wasn't good enough. He says, I immediately moved, I stopped what I was doing and I moved up. And like I said, just wasn't good enough for him and I apologized to him. Barry clearly not satisfied by the apology told Lee that he would quote, Blast your effing head off because you're a, and then insulted him by calling him a, a, a dumbass. Uh, now, Barry clearly uh, could have caused some serious damage. I'm glad he didn't fire his weapon, but uh, he did return to his house to get the uh, rifle and pointed it toward Lee even after he moved his car, even after he apologized. Uh, Jeremy Lee says, I was really worried about her, uh, meaning Carrie who was filming. I was stunned. I think I said, you're going to kill me in front of my daughter. And the answer is yeah, because your life doesn't matter to this guy. Who by the way, has a criminal record, but it's okay, it's Florida, so it doesn't matter. And he gets to buy whatever gun he wants, including an assault weapon. Yeah, so in the video, you can actually see the back of the vehicle a little bit. And you can see the driveway, and you can see that it's not in the driveway. It's not blocking the driveway. Um, but what, like, we talk about uh, this on Old School all the time. It's a show, another show that we have. If you remember, you get all of them, tyt.com slash join. And so once someone has already apologized, it's over. And if you still are yelling at the person after they've said, oh, my bad, and they did what you wanted, then you're the bad guy, right? But in this case, it's nuclear bad guy. He already moved it for you and he already apologized. And you go and get a weapon and threaten to murder him. Why? Well, two reasons. One, right wingers have a sense of entitlement. And they think, well, I'm entitled to do whatever I want, okay? And if you notice, he's talking about oh trespassing and I can't believe you blocked my driveway. Then when he got his phone, he went into his neighbor's yard and trespassed. Because he's entitled to the whole world, right? And you're not entitled to anything. And if you think about it, I mean, he's a criminal, right, with a, a, a rap sheet, but he's got that giant gun anyway. Because if you're a right winger, it doesn't matter. Nothing matters. Uh, you have all the rights, you have all the guns, you have all the weapons, you have the cops on your side 98% of the time. So he's emboldened to go and threaten to murder people on tape. Now, the good news is the cops are doing the right thing in this case. We'll get to that in a second. But the second reason that he uh, did this lunatic did this is because every one of these right wing gun owners can't wait for an opportunity to use it. Even the smallest little transgression, they're like, great, I finally get to murder someone. Okay, oh, you were in my driveway. Oh, damn it, you're not in my driveway anymore. And you, uh, who cares? I'll murder you anyway. This is my one golden opportunity to murder someone. Okay, and look, it's we live in a very, very dangerous country, and it's really scary times. Yeah, because all these guys think that they have a right to kill you. No, I mean they're waiting for any little excuse to do it. And uh, you say the cops did the right thing? Mm, not really. 
So they showed up to investigate the incident. They released a statement saying the bottom line is a dispute over parking should never have escalated to something like this. If you have a problem with someone partially blocking the driveway, you call the police, you don't grab a gun like some vigilante. And remember, he's brandishing an assault weapon and he's threatening to use it against a landscaper who, by the way, was standing on public property. He was not standing on his private property. And this tweet is fascinating because as it says, Please post and share, this man pulled out a gun on my cousin and her father while they were working in his neighbor's yard. This is in Clearwater, Florida. The police department took my family's ID, but didn't take the guys. He's a convicted felon and cops did nothing. And by the way, she's right about that. Barry has had run-ins with the law. The construction company owner has in the past been charged with battery, burglary and petite theft and pleaded guilty to misdemeanors. He is now facing another possible set of charges from the Clearwater Police Department. I don't feel comfortable with a possible set of charges. Are there charges or are there not charges? Yeah, I'll give you the exact quote. Anna, you're right, they uh, they didn't even take his ID and they took uh, the, uh, victim's, the ID. victim's ID. By the way, the victim of course is black. So that for a right winger, that means I can do anything I want to him. Um, but the reason I said that the cops are doing an okay job here is another quote from them. We're actively investigating this incident and we'll be presenting the case to the office of the state attorney. All right, so we'll see. we'll see what kind of case they present because threatening to murder someone is a very serious crime, especially when you have a weapon in your hand. And remember this guys, this is important. In Florida, it's a stand your ground state. So if Mr. Barry had made the mistake of taking one step forward, he not only would that guy have murdered him, but he would have definitely gotten away with it. And maybe his daughter too. Exactly. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that. All you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.